Hey guys, Tofu and Geek here. Um, well, I'm not sick anymore, and because I haven't made a video in so long, I am going to make a quick one about basically what you do in TechIt. Now, <coughs> yes, I know TechIt is like a multiplayer version, but it's single player as well. Uh, it's basically the Technic pack, whatever you want to decide, it's virtually exactly the same. But <coughs> for this, oh, what the hell? Let's just write um, uh, technic bugger. Uh, technic. I'm not sure if that was right. Just take it. That's easier. Great world and <coughs> ultra slow while it loads. But basically, this game, this mod pack basically allows you to do a lot more in Minecraft other than what you like normally would do <coughs> for example normally you would just go and get some wood make some tools go mining make a home etc but in this as you can see already there are new trees which are rubber trees I'll get into that a little bit later but you can basically use these trees to get rubber out of and you can also turn them into eight sticks for some reason so actually wait let's quickly turn off creative and get myself a tool a couple of tools and quickly put them in, into the bars now <coughs> for example, if I take that, the only thing I can do with it is turn it into eight sticks. You can burn it like normal, but that's the only thing I can really use for use it. Use it for yeah, close enough. Um So yeah, that's that. And that's basically the rubberwood tree. That is well it spawns very commonly, as you can pretty much see. And I think they produce only one yeah they produce one rubber resin which I'll show you what that is in a minute but for now let us look at some of the machines so I'm not going to show you any big systems I'll show you that a little bit later I'm just going to show you the few like simple kind of generators and how much energy they will produce Okay, so this is a windmill, well, like a wind turbine, but it has to be quite high up in the sky to actually do anything. This is a solar generator, which will get sun, and I think if you're in a desert it actually works better, but don't hold me to that, I'm not too sure. Now, the water mill, this works with running water next to it doesn't produce a lot it actually sucks big time then you get the geothermal generator which is amazing um, I'll talk a little bit a little bit more about that in a minute and then you get the worst which is the normal generator <coughs> now what each of these run off they are all slightly different for example this runs off okay, this runs off coal Okay, and as you can see, as the coal's been used up, it fills the, uh, the power button, the power, oops, not bad, it full, ah, oh, damn it, it fills the power, uh, the power bar, this one is exactly the same, except it requires lava, so, there we go, now you can see the things over there, it's full, this one, if you put water in there, I'm not sure what it will actually do. Oh, there we go. Bucket's starting to fill up now. There we go. Now, I think the more running water is over it, the better this will look. This is automatic solar generator. And then this is obviously wind. Now, the... whoops. The reason for the slots above here is that you can actually charge things like batteries. Uh, let me just 
get some batteries so I can quickly show you what I mean. Uh, if you look at the RE battery, I think this is it. Yep, there we go. As you can see, this is a really, really bad generator. It doesn't produce a lot of energy and it runs out very, very, very quickly. Okay, so that's that one. Then you get the geothermal one, which is eh, not much better. There is a little bit of lava along here, but you can't actually see it. That's how little there is. As you can see, it fills up again. Then you get the the water one, which I don't think it actually fills it up. I'm not sure. Anyway, the solar one does, but very, very slowly. Um, and I'm not sure the wind turbine will actually work because it's so low on the ground. But anyway, that's what you can do with the slots in the well, the little panel above it. <coughs> uh, midday. Okay. Now, what you can use, what you can do to like increase the power, is use something called the bat box, which is essentially like a power storage. And as you can see, it's out. Output is 32 EUT, which I believe is electrical units over time. I'm not too sure on that either. But this is the worst, uh, <coughs> the worst energy storage device that you can get. So there it is. So yeah, you're gonna want to upgrade very quickly. Now I'm just laying down some laying down some fiber optic cables, uh, <coughs> which will give the gen the generate well, will generate energy and put it into the bat box. And if I put a battery in there, you can see it's draining power directly from the bat box, and it is putting it into the battery. You can put the energy back into the bat box by putting the battery into the bottom slot. Although, if you take coal, for example, where are you, coal? There. Let's actually get 64 of you. Um, and we put coal in there, it won't do anything. You can only put energy sources in there. <coughs> Sorry, I have a bad cough at the moment. But you can still fill it up. And I actually wonder what will happen if I do this. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Nothing. It just stops. Okay, so I think most energy is coming from this. So if we get rid of that. As you can see, it's still generating, by n but not by much. So let's just disconnect everything but the solar generator. As you can see, that's how much a solar generator generates. Not very much at all. If I put a battery in there, that drains quickly. So, <coughs> how much does the wind generate down here? <coughs> oh, it generates nothing down here. That's quite sad. And the wind, the sorry, the water with nothing in it. Also, very, very little. Then, of course, the geothermal one, which is by far the best out of all. Out of well, I'm not actually sure which is better, the geothermal or the normal generator. But I'm going to say the geothermal because coal is fairly common in the ground, and lava is nowhere near as common, and you have to get really, really really deep down into the earth to get to it, so that's that. <coughs> so that was the bat box and some power units. Now like I said, those are the simplest the simple yeah, the simplest of the simplest. There's nothing more simple. If that makes sense. I don't know. Okay. So yeah da 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 where is it? Now, before I go, I've been dying to show this. I wanted to... Sh uh, wait, should I show it now or shouldn't I? I'll show it to you later. Um, in the meantime, I will show you some machines. And I'll get this set up for you. Uh, da -da 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 something like that. And I'll get this set up for you and I will show you in a minute. Check back with me in a second. 
Okay, hey guys, welcome back. What the? Why? The? But? What? Why are the cables not connected anywhere? Anyway, okay, so this is my actual world. This is the one that I play on. Um, as you can see, I have some fairly nice armor. My nano body suit jetpack, some coals. Now I'm quickly going to show you my nether base, <coughs> where I will show you something very cool. It's effectively a diamond manufacturing machine. And it's powered, whoop, sorry, lag spike. It's powered, whoopsie, by none other than our lava source. So anyway, I have my little lava pump coming down. Whoopsie. Whoa. Very tricky to control the jetpack. My little power source running down here, my electricity running up to the gen running up to the pumps. And here I have my storage. And here I have eight geothermal generators working in unison to give power to this MFE which then converts the energy into usable energy and here was the generator that I used to get started by the way um, here's my electric furnace just in case I need to smelt anything don't worry about that my extractor when I was using coolant cells don't worry about that um, okay so I've got my power going up to an MF no sorry to a bat box over here just so that I can check how much power I have over here so I don't like use way too much power or something like that. So anyway, my power basically goes out and powers this macerator, this macerator, this compressor, and this compressor. That is basically everything that you're going to need. Two macerators and two compressors. Well, those are the machines. Then you're going to need an automatic crafting table and well two of them actually you're going to need obsidian and you're going to need lots and lots of flint actually sorry you're going to need lots and lots of gravel and you're going to need not lots and lots of coal okay so what it does is it basically takes the flint whoa 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 oh yeah and this nano armor stops me from taking damage so it's pretty cool although it has a doesn't have a durability it has a power level when the power level runs out or runs low then I start taking damage again but anyway so what this basically does is it sends gravel and coal up here when I turn on these two uh, these two pumps which pump it out you have to use a wooden one by the way a wooden uh, pipe to suck things out of chests pumps it pipes it up here into the one way which sends it up here and speeds it up all the way along here to here where it filters out the coal sorry the gravel and the flint which go down the green pipe down there the coal will come down here get macerated here into none other than coal dust the flint and the gravel if it's flint then it will travel along the red one and it will go straight into this one way thing which will go into the crafting table here if it's gravel it will come down here and get macerated into flint and then get sent into the box over here after that it will get pumped out get sped up and come down here into this compressor because it will be a coal ball and it will get compressed into a compressed coal ball yes compressed coal ball then will be pumped out of this macerate, uh, this compressor and into this crafting table, automatic crafting table, which requires one obsidian and eight compressed coal, which will make coal chunk, which will then get pumped into this compressor, which will turn it into diamonds. And then after that, it will get pumped out and into the chest. Although you need a hell of a lot of coal and you need a hell of a lot of gravel. So that's basically the diamond manufacturing machine. And the reason that I came here is to show you the uh, basically what 
geothermal generators can actually do. They power that entire room without hassle. And oops. Okay. Um put my jet back on. Where was I? Here we are. Okay. And also they can I'm not sure if you saw earlier wait, where's my mining laser? Hmm. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you earlier when I tried to put a mining laser. Actually, wait, let me quickly... Do I have enough materials? Do I? Do I? Do I? No, I don't. Okay, let me quickly make a battery. I'll be right back. Okay, so, back here. Now, you can see that this power's constant. The only thing that it's actually powering is the two pumps which are pumping in the lava. And I'll show you some environmental damage in a second, or maybe in the next video. But as you can see, the power is fairly constant, and the bat and the battery actually charges very quickly, as you can see. Yeah, like, and well, yeah, that's about it. I'll show you some more next time, and I'll get in a little more in depth and stuff. And I'll actually tell you what these are. These are actually very, very cool. It's like scaffolding. I'll show you how to make them as well. Sorry, that was spastic. I'll show you how to make them. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Take care.